the seven rules of life. Uh, I posted this this morning in the group and uh, I was compelled to make this video because I just thought it was something that I could offer a bit more uh, insight into. So the seven rules of life, I'm interested in your discussions, I'm interested in your feedback, I'm interested in what you think of these. Uh, make peace with your past so it won't disturb your future. How many of us are living in the past, you know, thinking about things that have happened previously that we just need to let go, you know? Many of us do this, many of us do it for far too long in our lives, thinking about the past. Some people still haven't left home, you know? Uh, they still sit there thinking about what their parents will think and they're in their 60s. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's not a good way to live, you know? You need to make up your own mind. The easiest way to make peace with your past um, and not disturb your future is just to forgive. Forgive means to let go of completely. Forgive yourself to start with. Uh, any mistakes that you feel you've made or other people might think you've made, just forgive yourself for all of it. It's the best way to be right here in this moment, just forgive. And then once you can do that, forgive everyone, everything. So every other person in the planet is just doing the best they can with the information they have at this time. So just forgive, you know? That's all they know, that's all they can do. Forgive yourself first, start with yourself. Always, always, always start with yourself, but forgive yourself and then forgive everyone else. You know, everyone's just doing the best they can. That's all the knowledge they have. Uh, what other people think of you is none of your business. That's the second one. Uh, that is one of the most freeing pieces of information that I ever got. I suddenly, like, it was like light bulb moment. What anyone else thinks of you is none, none of your business. What other people think of you is none of your business. Oof. once I got that, I was like, whoa, okay. It actually doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. It doesn't matter what the world thinks. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks of me. It's just about me and my self-image and what I'm going to put out into the world. I'm going to put out good energy uh, and hopefully help lots of people. It's none of your business. You can't change it. Other people are going to think what they think. Doesn't matter. Let it go. Forgive if you need to, but just let it go. It's no point. Uh, the only person in charge of your happiness is you, is number three. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. So many of us put other people in charge of our happiness. They allow other people to sort of direct us or, or tell us what to do or tell us we're no good or we're this or we're that. It's, you're, you are in charge of your own happiness. It's emotional. You do need to have emotional toughness and you do need to have a logical thinking brain to be able to say, I don't accept what you're saying to me. I know that I'm a good person and I'm going to keep being a good person. And that's it. And as long as you know that in your heart and you can feel that in your heart, everything else is just noise. Just let, let it be noisy and, and let the world be as it is. Um, <clears throat> one of the things I learned, studied and thought for myself is that actually the true love is total acceptance. If you can love and accept yourself and then everyone else and then the world you're going to have a very, very peaceful life. You know, you can live peacefully and it's lovely. And I urge you to work on this stuff because it's so, so important. Uh, don't compare your life to others. Comparison is the thief of joy. I got that one of Tony Robbins, actually. Um, comparison is the thief of joy. I was a young DJ spending lots of time thinking about why have I not got the best gig or why have they got that gig and I haven't or how come they've got more money or how come they've got a top 10 record and I did get one once but you know that kind of stuff is just comparison it's the thief of joy it just takes away your joy stop it <laughs> just feel joyful just be happy you know be grateful be happy be living in the moment be present it's called the present you know because it's a gift live in this moment live here now and enjoy it with gratitude, with acceptance. I heard a great quote, don't look back in anger or forward in fear, but around us in awareness. And when you can do that, and it's a skill, you have to learn it. It's like anything, you have to keep working it and keep working it and keep working it. I heard a reference that your mind is like a garden and you have to tend to that garden, otherwise it just become overgrown and an absolute mess. Luckily, you know. I've got a gardener, but you know what I mean. So the point is, is that, uh, you know, it is very, very important uh, to not compare yourself to other people, to tend your mind and create really, really good thoughts in there. And all of these rules are so important. That's why I'm making the video because I was just compelled to do so. I just thought it was a good thing to talk about. Um, number five, time heals almost everything. Give it time. That is true. That is absolutely true. Uh, time can heal just about everything. Um, you can accelerate that if you do a bit of work yourself rather than just letting it run its course. You can accelerate. I, 
I, in my 30s, in my younger 30s, uh, I worked out that uh, I needed a bit of therapy. So I had psychotherapy. It was amazing. Um, it, then throughout my 30s, with the challenge of incurable disease and then a bankruptcy, uh, I reached out for self-development and tried to understand what was going on around me and got more and more information. And uh, Bob Proctor said to me via a video conference once that... Uh, you can uh, you know, sort everything out by setting goals. Set, set a huge goal and then know and understand it's because of what I've taught you that you'll reach that goal. Um, so from bankrupt, I set a goal of 100 grand a year and you know, onwards and upwards, you know, we're, we're flying, you know, hit that double quickly and, and off we went. But I set the goal. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I just set the goal and all of the good vibes and all the good intentions, the study and the learning and everything else I did, uh, you know, the sky's the limit, you know, you can achieve anything. Number six, stop thinking so much. Oh, how many people overthink a lot? <laughs> uh, I used to spend loads of time overthinking and it becomes, or it takes your creativity. It takes your creativity away. If you're constantly thinking and jibber jabber of other people and all these, but you, you're not creative. You're not being able to, you're being suppressed. You can't create, you can't do good things. Uh, stop thinking so much, you know, clear your mind, meditation. I do short little meditations throughout the day. I'm not one for like big 20, 30 minute meditations, but I love, I've got my little trampolines. So I had a little bounce this morning, got my bicycle, going to go out for a bike ride later, government allowed uh, for the time being. Uh, but the point is, is that this is good stuff, you know, um, stop thinking so much, you know, clear your mind, listen to some music, change your state. There's lots of different things you can do. Whatever works for you, obviously is important. Um, and number seven, smile. Uh, just smile. Uh, you don't own all the problems in the world. And that is true. Uh, I've stopped watching the news. It's just on repeat every hour. Um, and it's just pumping us full of negativity on the whole. Every now and then there'll be a story about, you know, a kitten getting saved up a tree. Uh, but the point is, is that, um, you know, just smile. Just smile. Enjoy this life. We're only here for a short time. That's 70 years if we're lucky or whatever it's going to be. Hopefully it'll be longer. But the point is, is that we're only here for a short time. It goes really, really quickly. Um, you don't own all the problems in the world. They're not your responsibility. Look after you, heart, mind, you know, thoughts, feelings, program that stuff. It's there for you to use it. You know, you know you're, a, uh, you're a spiritual being on a human journey. Okay. I'll leave you with that one. Um, but um, just go on that negativity fast. Stay away from negative stuff. Enjoy yourselves. Um, and uh, the seven rules of life. I'm really interested in your comments. We'd love to know what you think. Uh, I'll keep making these videos and sending you lots of love. See ya.